Your continued support of the CoinSuries channel is much appreciated. The end is drawing near, my friends, because there are so many warning signs and indications. I will be talking about the possible imminent end of the world in today's video. I should preface this by saying that this is not a financial recommendation. Simply put, we are striving to maintain a leading position. Is there anything else in the future? My deepest wish is that crypto soars to new heights before a disaster strikes. Not to put too fine a point on it, but I'd be eternally grateful if you could give this video a thumbs up. Allow me to demonstrate. Take a look at what's coming your way soon. Believe it or not, in just four trading days, Jeff Bezos sells three or four billion shares of Amazon stock. Pardon me, what's going on here? It appears that Jeff Bezos is currently selling like crazy. Wow, you guys are completely insane. Brief, but delicious. Elon Musk is just a guy sometimes, too. Recognize Elon Musk for who he really is. In any case, I'll be laughing with you even though it most certainly isn't Jeff Bezos. Listen, everyone, if I were to sell billions of dollars worth of Amazon shares. This is absolutely serious. You could make a joke out of this, but you shouldn't. I don't know where we'll end up as a group if this doesn't signal problems. Before all those things happened, Jeff Bezos sold his shares, in case you forgot. Would I be right? Right now, what is he doing? Going through the motions of doing something again, which is absurd, isn't it? The recorded time has brought us up to the present date of February 9th. March 13th. In addition, two other transactions totaling $2 billion in Amazon shares were executed on February 9th and February 13th. A $2 billion increase? I thought he made that yesterday. In other words, throughout the past two weeks, he has turned a profit. Six billion dollars, pretty much. But he was able to pocket six billion dollars. Reason being, nobody is looking. Oh, I get it. Please explain. Please tell me. I don't get it. So, even so, Jeff Bezos is still a major shareholder in Amazon. Would I be right? That being said, it raises the question, why is Jeff Bezos selling a lot of stock right now? Yes, precisely. Hmm, someone made the observation that those are definitely the top 10. Or at least this short-lived high point, what do you think about it? Is he trying to spread his money around or is he putting some money aside for a black swan event at USC? We covered his initial US stock sale on February 9th, it's in the top right corner of the screen, and his second on February 13th. Did you mean 19 minutes and 13 seconds ago? Is it unreasonable to expect the numbers 9, 13, and 15 to remain valid? Guys, if you go into weekly views, you'll see this on the top right corner. I mean, isn't his main goal to protect them? This occurred around these levels in 2020, immediately preceding the tragedy. The decline was comparable to the previous peaks, though. Accordingly, if a black swan event is on the horizon and we decide to lower car prices, they will probably rise again. Are you aware that there are times when the stock market acts irrationally? Things won't end tomorrow just because it dumps and collapses, rather, they'll end before the collapse ever happens. You can see below that Warren Buffett also sold about 10 million shares of Apple in the most recent quarter. Take a look, sales of smart money are at record highs. That's a red flag that market insiders are cashing out. It is truly widespread, since even this millionaire is selling. In terms of sales, it has been stable throughout 2023, but this signal went absolutely crazy from January to February of 2024. My God, what does that even mean, you guys? There are times when the wise money isn't always correct. I may not be clear about what I intend. Yes, I understand. However, can't this be a signal? Perhaps it's due to the fact that these men are obvious to them. I promise I won't try to scare you, alright? Still, we want to keep our position as leaders, you know. At this very second. Please give your loved ones a bear hug this evening, we did our best, as you can see from the bar chart. Would I be right? The red line represents the S&P 500, and we can see them all here. 
It makes sense to me. The orange, standing for the white line, follows next. The white line for today is SNP, SNP, so let's get this party started. It makes sense to me. Also, the Great Depression began in 1929, and the red line went back to that year. Also, what if this ends up being completely different from what you all anticipated? Since the SNP probably won't recall 1929, I really don't know what's going to happen. We shall fall, get back up, and then fall again, because of this, guys. Would I be right? If a cryptocurrency's value dropped last year, it can rise again this year, or the one after that. Well, let me provide you with a fictional bunch of men. For the sake of argument, what would happen if this were to really occur? Which I have no idea about whatsoever. Everyone, I disagree with you. Contrarily, a black swan could be the culprit here. Would I be right? It will be here soon. Oh, I get it. We can thank the Federal Reserve for saving the day, eh? On the other hand, we reach a pure gas before the collapse occurs. Oh, I get it. But that is just speculation. Assuming this situation materializes, what novel possibilities do you foresee Bitcoin and altcoins presenting? How about you instead lose it completely while this is going on? Get back up there? Would I be right? Changes direction? I don't know the solution. However, I truly hope that this scenario does not materialize. Would I be right? At the same time, the stock market keeps going up. That is what I am hoping for, anyway. This leads us to the next obvious point, the link. But in the end, it's discouraging. I would like to know why it was only added, gentlemen, considering the range of viewpoints stated. By the 25th, the S&P 500 might reach $6,500, as predicted by Capital Economics. As is evident to all, the economic bubble might still be quite a ways off from popping. Who or what is their proposal, then? A further $6,500 is received by the end of the year. For what reason is this intriguing to you all? When the year comes to a close, what will it have become? The end of the year 2025? Would I be right? Big Short's regular into the community status will be in effect until 2026, right? Today, December 26, is the last day of the 25th year. Would I be right? Each of those 26 items is fascinating, and I can't wait to show them to you. Now that we've awoken ourselves, I'm crossing my fingers that we get to witness these advanced levels, before the stock market continues to soar. As long as there are illogical dumps and crashes, people will keep wanting them. Boom, nonetheless, this is the glaring sign. Our command to the crew was, hey, look at this, and they dutifully obeyed. In order to derail the UK economy, recession is essential. That concludes it. Oh, I get it. Whoa, what a group of crazy dudes, huh? And that's not all. Which is why I am perplexed. This is due to the fact that payroll in these other nations is also facing a recession, along with the economies of Finland, Ireland, Japan, and the UK. Those who study economics. This is only the beginning. Would I be right? If the effects of Ellis's money printing materialize, the Federal Reserve will be compelled to raise the money supply. Nevertheless, won't we face massive inflation afterwards? Conversely, will a recession soon be upon us? On the way shortly, there appears to be a connection between the recession gods and these black swan events. This may have something to do with Jeff Bezos selling Amazon shares in 2020, the year preceding the black swan disaster. It is expected that the Federal Reserve would step in again, correct? Not to mention move things around. What do you mean by prints? I beg you again, how will the Federal Reserve handle their current predicament? Would I be right? Given that rates would remain unchanged for a long time and will remain unchanged next month in. In the months after a man publishes anything, everything will start to fall apart. Indeed, a black swan will occur. If they print here again, though, what exactly will they do? High inflation is what you're referring to. Until then, all we can do is wait for Clown World to address this directly in its upcoming episode.
Just in case you're not convinced yet, think about this, economic factors have no bearing on the stock market. It is easy to see rationality. Japan has entered a recession. There has been a decline in this nation's economy. China is not on board. Okay, everyone, the German economy is in a slump right now. They're not only succeeding, but the trio has achieved unprecedented success. Oh, I get it. In the event of a national recession, would the US stock market be at an all-time high? Oh, I get it. And so it goes on. I mean, nothing stops until something breaks. Oh my goodness! Japan fell into a recession. Surprising, irrelevant March 10, 2000 was the date. Everyone, the Nasdaq has reached a new all-time high. Friday, March 13. Your writing takes a hit when you hear bad news. Stock values in the tech industry fell sharply. Even though the stock market doesn't seem concerned, I have a feeling something is on the horizon. The latest record highs show that the stock markets, Japanese markets, and mainstream media are up to no good. Similar to how vendor financing facilitated the dot-com boom, Tripping Cash has been expanding its customer base and revenue stream over the last six months by providing liquidity to shelf firms. Their fascination in bubble gas led them to follow the trend on the dot-com. Bubbles are a comparable tactic, and it's all about the implode men. I don't know the solution. But I'd love to see Bitcoin skyrocket to the same level of success as the guy in the video. No problem at all. Plus, everything is encrypted. Alright, everyone? Could this possibly work? Do you think that's true? Do you mean this? Let the year 2000 begin, these bubble guys, who are they? The Great Depression and the tech boom of 2000 come to mind when I look at all these graphs. Nonetheless, this is not without its flip side. When things are going well, you don't see any negative charts, do you? So, it's strange that I've been following so many pessimistic chart gurus on Twitter. They will surely keep pumping it till the entire crowd is in tears of delight, I suppose. That is, unless your grandma and your feline buddies are ecstatic. Once they've misled everyone, not even you and I can stop them from bringing the markets crashing. For the simple reason that, during peaks, bearish calls are almost never heard. Bloomberg has strangely warned against HSBC, the number of warnings is becoming excessive as a result of the growing pressure from the Fed's shift and worries about China's real estate potential. Yes, precisely. Bankruptcy filings are through the roof, so obviously things are already falling apart, and I have no idea what the Fed will do next. Chapter 11, Bankruptcy, serves as a cautionary tale, for Mr. Poole. I thought two individuals filed for bankruptcy simultaneously in November? It has been clearly falling, hasn't it? Was the 2008 housing market crash the reason of its meteoric rise? But from 2014 to 2022, it will fall steadily over the years, peaking in the years 1718 to 1920 and ending on January 21, 2022. A parabolic climb toward the upside started to take shape after the Federal Reserve began boosting interest rates, didn't it? Something occurred here, just like in 2008. This is going to be connected to an upcoming black swan event in the next several months once again. The first of my signals has flipped to March, according to the lead lag report, but I am completely clueless about what comes next. Why? I could be totally wrong because there was a lot of liquidation earlier this week, interest rates are at record highs, the bank is cutting funding, RP is ending, and the Fed is holding rates until something breaks. Where do you stand on this issue? The risk is manageable, but this is becoming too much, you know? I mean, it's completely ridiculous that this thing could keep sustaining everything. Alchemy 5, 9 shows us that their wealth is infinite but let's get ready for that first. As an occasional surprise, one of the regular guys might give you a CD, Tammy. In April 2020, investor caution is warranted. Do you think it will occur at the most inopportune time? There will be casualties as a result of its probable collapse. Things are getting quite wild out here, but from the regular's point of view, that is just guesswork. Very well, then, let's be ready for anything that may happen not included, financial advice. 
but there are a lot of warning signs. After this, everything is up in the air, the footage then abruptly ends. Please subscribe to my channel, I'd really appreciate it. As for now, farewell.